Welcome back to the Gear Bunker. This is Eric, and I've got a quick review of a new knife from Zero Tolerance. And this is a collaboration between ZT and Danish designer Jens Anzo, and it's the Zero 230. This is one of ZT's first non locking pocket knives. This is a slip joint knife. And it is, uh, you know, I, I waited kind of a, a bit before I did a review on this because I thought the jury was kind of still out on it because I, I'm all about a locking knife. This has no locking mechanism, but on the flip side, I always find myself grabbing this thing and throwing it in my pocket because it's a very minimalist design. It's very lightweight. It has a carbon fiber handle and this sheep's foot blade, which is a great utility blade for cutting things open. And I do throw it in my pocket quite a bit because I always have UPS and FedEx coming and I'm opening boxes. And even on the job site, I, I do the same thing. And, and the reason I didn't do a review right away because there was something about this that I wasn't crazy about. But like I said, I grab it all the time. So it's when I'm opening a box and it's how I hold the knife. And it's more my problem than anybody else's. But with this blade not being non-locking, you should just grab the handle itself and apply pressure as you cut across, you know, and open a box. But what I do is I always put my finger on the back to apply pressure, and that's that's a huge mistake with this. Because as you're doing that and you're applying pressure, once you get to the end of the box, bing, this happens. And I've done this a couple of times where I'm like, holy crap, you know, I haven't cut myself yet, so I guess that's a good thing. But uh, just something of note, how you use your knife. I do like this. Um, it has a double detent mechanism in here, which has a full open detent and also a halfway point, as well as when it is closed, so it doesn't, won't flip open when it's in your pocket. That being said, it's, for me, it, it does have a little nail neck here to open so it's kind of a two-handed operation it's not the easiest thing to open with one hand but you can do it uh, it also on the back side has a nice aluminum anodized lanyard loop and i don't know I, it's not my thing but you know like i said this is a nice slim knife that fits in your pocket and is good for daily use as long as you understand that it is not a locking blade so Make sure to read the full review on the Gear Bunker while I have all the, all the specs on there. And like and subscribe us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, and you'll be constantly informed when we have new reviews on new products. Actually, this isn't that new, but uh, check it out. This is ZT's 0230 pocket knife.